Ralph in Rockville, Maryland writes to me, I like to think I have very good ears. I hear things in recordings that others don't, unless I point it to them, uh, point it out to them. Okay, and I'm very happy about that. Well, good. It sounds like you've taken care of your hearing over the years. Don't listen to stuff too loud. What if you're just starting out in this? Protect your hearing. If you lose it, she's gone. So I've worked so hard over the years to always make sure if, if it comes down to it, I just take Kleenex or a napkin, I roll it up and I stuff it in my ears. I, I just, it's just too much. Now, it's not just because I make my living with my ears, but I like hearing and it sounds like Ralph does as well. So good job. Anyway, um, unfortunately, here's where we go. <laughs> When my wife is in the kitchen moving pots and pans, the sound is atrocious, and I literally have to run away or put my hands over my ears. I am a doctor, albeit not an uh, otolaryngologist. Ot you guys have the craziest names. I can't even pronounce them. Well, whatever the hell it is, a hearing doctor. But <laughs> I'm not a doctor. I can't even pronounce the words you guys have. But I have no explanation for that one. Does this happen to you? And if yes, why do you think? Thank you again for all you do. Your videos are my daily fix. <laughs> all right, Doc. So, um, yeah, well, here's the deal. Yes, I have the same thing. As we age and we've protected our hearing, and even if we haven't, there, I don't remember what this thing is, and you're a doc, you can look it up somewhere. Uh, but I know it's a thing. Our mid-range, our, our sensitivity to mid-range goes up and up and up. And it's, it kind of like narrows this thing down. And here's what's interesting about that. And I don't know the effect. You'd, you'd have to do some studying. I think it's more of a psychological thing rather than a hearing thing. I just, I'm 76 years old. I just went down and had a full hearing check. And I'm measuring out very flat all the way out to, oh, I don't know, gosh, what was it? As far as they go, it was like 10K or something, eight, eight or 9K. They don't go any higher than that. And I'm pretty flat. In fact, the audiologist said, your hearing is better than a lot of the teenagers that come in here. Just kind of sad. But, and that's because I protected my hearing. But when I am at a crowded restaurant, when I am in a noisy situation, I struggle to hear conversations, to pick out things. And I know that is a thing that as you get older, whether it's a brain thing or an ear thing, I really don't know. But it's completely normal. I'm, I don't know how old you are, but you're obviously old enough to have that problem. So yeah, that's a thing. What's interesting is it hasn't affected my ability to hear into stereo. If anything, I hear even better now. And maybe that's too what you're doing, where you hear things that others don't. I mean, I pick up things all the time that some of them young whippersnappers out here don't even hear. And I think it may be that, that, you know, I have this, this great focus on this mid-range area. But yeah, it's a thing. So maybe somebody in the comment section who's more knowledgeable than I can tell us what that thing is called. And then we'll all know. All right. <laughs> Thanks for the question and good luck. All right. Tell your wife to be a little more, uh, less bangy on those pots. 